Hey everybody, Steven here, and today we are looking at how to essentially merge Steam folders or the games from that Steam library folder from different hard drives onto one hard drive. So I ran into this issue where I did a new ITX build. I had one hard drive that had some games on it. And I'm going to take a picture of this and make sure it pops up, but I actually have it on an attachment that allows it to connect to the PC via USB port while it's external to the PC. And so I have that SSD. I just have a handful of games that I essentially just copied from that drive and I pulled it over to the Steam folder that I normally have. So let's look at this real quick. So this is where my games are at. This right here, this SSD F, this is not going to be actually inside the case. So right now I'm using this attachment to connect it, like I said, via USB port, but I cut those or copy those and I brought it over here to my Steam library. Once I did that, it was just a Steam folder. So the issue I was running into, if you just copy them and drop them here, Steam already has a library, right? That I've created in this. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So this one, just this folder right here was literally sitting out here. The games wouldn't show up. I couldn't add it inside the settings inside of Steam. So I was like, how do you actually recognize these games so I don't reinstall them? So Steam apps is where my games are actually at right here. And I've already done this with Just Cause 3. If we go back, I click on Steam, Steam apps here, common. And I actually took these and then threw them into the Steam app folder and it wasn't recognizing them. And I was like, how do I, it's still asking to install them. How do I, how do I do this? So let's take this one. We're going to take battle chasers. I'm going to cut it from this because it's not going to re recognize this folder here. As far as I know, I haven't done it where I just try to do this here, but I think this is the most logical paste it inside of here. As you can see, I still can install this. If I go in here though, if I click on this, it's going to try to run this. Steam is going to recognize that I'm trying to run this. Then it's going to ask to install this. Say yes. It's literally just recognizing or validating the files with this. So it's already there, right? I'm just launching the program, the game, so that Steam recognizes it. It can validate the files and then we're good to go. So this is the way that I found that you can actually do this. Like I said, I'm merging folders from multiple drives into my Steam folder within the drive that I'm going to run everything off of. I was just running into an issue where I didn't need everything to be re-downloaded. I already had the games. And this probably has needed an update. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> But let's check out something while that's doing that. So if I go into settings, go to downloads, Steam library folders, this is how you can recognize multiple Steam libraries on multiple drives. With this, I'm trying to literally consolidate because this drive isn't going to be on my PC. So even though I put it here, this drive is already here. When I went to add library folder, I can't, well, I'm not saying I can't do that while it's downloading. Should be able to now. I went to E and I had the Steam library. So I literally clicked on another Steam library. Matter of fact, let's go here. Select. Selected drive already has a Steam library folder. Steam will manage multiple game installs in a single folder for you. So it wouldn't recognize those again. So this is how you get Steam to re-recognize or validate those files for you. But while we're here, let's just see one other thing. Let's see if this will actually do it. If I just throw it in there and create it. Yeah, it will. So it'll still validate it. But like I said, it seems weird to me to have multiple Steam folders, Steam app folders within this. I just copy it and cut it and paste it into the regular Steam app. So everything's there. I know where it's at. But hopefully that helps anybody. I didn't find anything that was for my very specific problems with this. But if there's something I need to kind of clarify, let me know in the comment section. I can always make another video for you guys. So that's going to be it for this one, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.